the existing site had a former care home and social club on it that was derelict as well as two TPO trees. The form of the buildings is driven by referencing the local Victorian terrace houses. The major challenge of this project was the integration of the detailed passive house requirements and marrying that with a form of construction that is still being developed in the UK. The challenge really was to then bring it through to construction, educating the labour, doing the monitoring, the QA process. Uh, air tightness was a big issue as well, trying to achieve the very low air leakage levels. One of the big things uh, about doing this development was actually making sure that all of our residents were fully educated in the type of technology we're using. So we provided easy read reference guides to both the actual design principles and also to the equipment that was uh, installed, the technologies used in the properties. We also produced a video for our residents to view online and also checking in with residents after they moved in as well, seeing how they're getting on living in the properties and any issues that they might have or need help with. Now that you've been in your property for the last 18 months or so, we're just trying to gauge uh, how you've uh, found living in your new home and whether you're seeing some of the benefits of it. Yes, yes, yeah, uh, yeah I do, yeah. especially my kids, they love it. One of the things that we wanted to look at with getting this project underway was uh, doing a comparison between passive house design and code for sustainable homes. Energy monitoring feedback has been very good and has been under anticipated by the Passive House uh, planning package. The heating only came on twice last winter and our six month gas bill was £20. We were scared to be honest when we first thought we were going to move in here um, because of an estate uh, noise. The windows closed, the doors closed, you hear nothing. I didn't know what a passive house was, certainly now we do know <laughs> what a passive house is. Thank you.